Nowhere near game day, but I honestly can't believe what I'm watching right now. And we somehow managed to hold on. What a cracking win. I stuck with the 4-3-3 to smash Burnley 5-1. Well, we did go 1-0 up through Soleil, but Liverpool huffed. They puffed, and they got a deserved equaliser. 1-1 at Anfield. I am more than happy with that. And our Champions League fixtures have been released. <laughs> Hello there, welcome back to the channel for Club 4, episode 15 of Hall of Famer here, playing Football Manager 2023. Champions League fixtures have been released, as I just told you there in the intro. So we are playing Belgian side Antwerp in today's video, along with... Um, I'm not sure yet, maybe Wolves or Palace? Probably Wolves, actually. Then, we're playing Shakhtar, I probably won't show you that game. Feyenoord, we'll show you them, along probably with Leicester. Um, probably won't show you Milan, we'll probably come back for Villarreal and Arsenal. Uh, Bayer Leverkusen, uh, they're uh, there as well, we're at home to them. May not show you that, uh, we may go with maybe a Premier League game here. And we've got Real Madrid and um, Real Sociedad. It's obviously San Sebastian in this one, but um, I think what we'll probably do for this one is come back for a three game special. So, we've got a few episodes already mapped out on what we're going to do, providing we're still here, which if I'm not, I would be very, very surprised. Uh, but I do have deadline day to do, which I'm probably going to do off camera anyway. But I don't think I've got any more transfer news to bring you. Um, Crub actually had a contract offer from um, our transfer firm. They did Come in with 32.5 over instalments, 22.5 up front, and he rejected them. So that's fine. If we have a look at transfer history, um, that's it. Yeah, I haven't signed or uh, sold anybody else. Um, I expect it will probably be a quiet transfer uh, deadline day. We still have a little bit of money left to spend, but... Um, you know what, I'm just going to look at any deals that we can do. I still have a spot for a under-21 overseas player, I think. Um, let me double-check that, actually. Uh, da, 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 scouting centre. Potential. Uh, you. You actually look pretty good. Can we sign you on loan? Ooh. Damn it. This would be a really good signing, but it's just, we're not going to be able to pay all that. I'd be able to afford that, maybe. I mean, we're not going to win the Premier League this year, are we? Ooh, they'll take it. I'm not winning the Premier League this year. No chance. That's fine. No problem. I will definitely take that. Awesome, because I need a left winger, because, you know, I mean, I say that Palmer's been absolutely incredible, as you would have seen in the, um, as, well, as you would have seen, but, you know, I mean, I, I still don't know what, what I'm going to do with Palmer, really, um, he's absolutely incredible, and he will be starting every game he can, so, yeah, I mean, I think Sosa coming in would be an incredible signing, and it would really bolster us absolutely right um i'm assuming that's going to go through and that's going to wipe out the rest of the budget so i will see you for probably the wolves game or i might choose to play palace i'm not sure yet we'll see okay scratch that now with just four hours left of the transfer window i have a little bit more money to spend because jesus diaz has joined this team for 20 million pounds i was very surprised that i was able to get rid of him because he just seemed like one of those players. A bit like, um, is it Al Alvaro? Alvarez? The guy that was my right back last season, <laughs> for crying out loud. I can't actually remember his name now. Uh, where would it be? It's this one. No, nope. Alfonso. I was close. I was close. I was close. West Brom have got Thomas Frank in charge. That's cool. But then the championship still, that's mad. Let's have a look at their managers previously. Thomas Frank, Richard Beal. They've, they've gone through quite a few managers so far, haven't they? Yeah. What about high caretakers? Five managers! Jesus, that's bad. Hey, you want to buy my players, West Brom? That's absolutely fine. I've got no issue with that at all. 
But yeah, we got another 20 million in. So now we've got 25 mil left to spend, uh, which is good. Um, I don't know if I just maybe want to save this until January now. And just see where we're at. Because losing... Losing um, DS just then... I don't think it's going to make us any weaker. Because I don't think he was going to play that much anyway. Because we've got Verstraten in. We have Richarlison who can play there. We have Martial who can play there. We have Rafa who can play there. And Rafa, I mean... Is it worth trying to get rid of him as well? Because he is on a hell of a lot of money. And if we can get rid of him, that would be good. Maybe, I mean, getting rid of him now would be preferable. Because, obviously, he is... No. Uh, nothing so far, but we have so many of these to look at as well. I am going to have a browse through these. What I might do, guys, I am just wondering if maybe I'll just do the Antwerp game in this episode. Because I think this video is going on a bit now. So maybe if I just do the one game, it would save me from doing two home games in a video as well. So um, there is that. I don't know. I'm, I, don't, I don't know. I probably won't show you Shaq Tardinets, to be fair. And we'll probably come back in the next video and play Leicester and uh, Feyenoord. Sounds good to me. Hopefully sounds good to you guys as well. So, well, I think we'll finish the transfer window in this video. And then we'll, um, then we'll do the Antwerp game, our debut in the Champions League. An A there. But you know what? I'm only really interested in regens now or, or unless there's some really good players floating about. But I've got a lot of these to go through. There's still 25. I'm only interested really in B pluses and up. See, there's this guy. Again, doesn't really... A, there's an A there. Alex uh, Collado in Barcelona. Can play all across the front line there. His physicals and everything. See, this guy looks good. And we can afford the 13 mil for him as well. How much is he going to want? Does he even want to join us? He went between 56 and 72. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. So he can play on the right, left. He can even play in central midfield as well. And he's actually really good there. You know what? I think it's a no-brainer. I think we go in for this guy. See if we can. Let's see if we can get him in. Let me. See, let's see if we can get him in. Right. Let's see if we can offer you out for a little bit less. Let's say three point five. Because if we can get Rafa out and Collado in, then that would. That would really help. You want a big pay rise? No. You know what? I'm not giving in to any of those. Right, so you 50. You'll go with 50. Good man. Good man. It'll be a good squad player if we can get him in. So we do this, then we try and get rid of Rafa again. And he's in. We can join. We can have him join. That's good. So that wipes out about half of the budget that we had. Right, so Rafa. We offer you out now for 2.3 mil. I wonder if the transfer window over there is longer, maybe. Well, if we can get rid of him, then I wouldn't have to change. It's one of the higher earners here. Oh, they've, someone's come in. 1.7. I mean, I will accept that, but will it go through in time? Will it go through in time? Please go through. Okay, so... He's set to sign for them. Will it still go through? 
it has. That is wonderful stuff. So we end the transfer window. Fourteen million pounds still to spend. A lot of um, a lot of wage budget available because we just sold Rafa and we brought in somebody else. And where is he? He's there. I'm really happy to have this chap in. He is basically he basically replaces Rafa and Diaz. Because this guy's incredible. 28 years old, I know. But his physicals are good. Crossing, dribbling, first touch. He can play as the advanced playmaker. And he would be an incredible player there. So let's see what we can do with auto-select on this now. We've only registered 17 players. That just goes to show we've got a lot of youngsters here. And we've got seven and trained in England as well. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. So I could realistically register another seven. But obviously it doesn't matter now. Uh, but hopefully we have a little bit more money to spend in January as well. But I think that's been a decent transfer window in the end. Yes, we have spent a lot of money. £110 million in. £54 million out. And I think, you know, we got rid of Diaz. We got rid of Trubbin. We got rid of Al Alfonso, Downs, Rafa. And I think we've done good deals there. You know, these were squad players at best. Trubbin was obviously the main goalkeeper. But, you know, we signed... I mean, it doesn't even include... Um, see, that, that transfer that transfer there doesn't even include... Um, a Rudder or Divine or Nemec or Lucas... So we've spent closer to about we've spent close to about 150, 170 million in this window, which is pretty damn awesome. Uh, but I am really happy with that. Now I do have to register my Champions League squad now, which if I'm if I've got a load of homegrown players in the under 21s, then I'll be able to register everybody. Uh, club, club. Do I have any homegrown players here? I don't. Okay, that's that kind of sucks a little bit. But what about the under 18s? Obviously, we have club ones there. Fowler, it looks. I mean, this guy, to be fair, could actually. Oh, he's on out on loan. That's not good. But I will probably have to register a few youngsters like Lynch and Wyant. But that's fine. As long as I can register. Oh, yeah, but then again, I've got all my youngsters as well. So it's going to be. Oh, God, it's going to be difficult. Some people are probably going to be annoyed. Some people are probably going to be annoyed. Oh dear. Uh, I think I've got to do it today as well, haven't I? Is it today? Yeah, it's today. Right, I'm going to do it and then I'll be back. Well, to be perfectly honest, I don't think this have got, could have gone any better. Now, I did have to piss off Yanusi and Miguel, but um, but that's it. So the players that we didn't register are Lucas, Yanusi, Nemec and Miguel. And this is the rest of the squad. So it recommended that I didn't re register Krub. So I think that would have gone, would not have gone down well at all. But the fact that I've managed to register all of these and then him piss off too. But then they're actually okay about it. I think is good. I think we've done well there to only piss off a couple of players. And we managed to resolve the issue as well. Um, Miguel came to me. And I discussed it with him, you know, when you just have the meeting. And he goes, oh, I really appreciate coming to speak to me about it. Don't worry about it for now. So that's good. Um, that could have not gone any better, to be perfectly honest. So, yeah, I'm I'm more than happy with that. I'm more than happy with that. And Collado, let's introduce you, my dude. Uh, where's he going to play? I am not going to tell you that. I think we have done some incredible business this summer. And uh, we are certainly a better team. T uh, Tottenham have loaned Ramos. Can Kalo Ramos? Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. And uh, signing him from Liverpool. Fair enough. Fair enough. Right, like I said, I am just going to be doing the Antwerp game in this video. So I do have Wolves to play off camera. And then we'll be back for the Antwerp game. I think this is a game we can certainly win. You know, they're um, Belgian side. We've got Nzagi in charge. They're... Um, their best players. They've not got any sort of wonder kids in there. You're not a wonder kid, are you? No, that's fine. Uh, you. They could have. I mean, to be fair, they could have some uh, regens because 
when I chose to add the leagues in, I think it was like last season, maybe the season before, um, obviously it regenerates players at um, like a, an older age. So that's why we're seeing 24, 25, even as high as 28 year olds, regen players who look incredible. So that's why we're seeing those. And hopefully there's not going to be any here. What about you? No, you're a real player. You are a real player. That's cool. But yeah, guys, I think we've done some really good business over the summer. And um, where does the season preview think we'll finish now? It's got us 10th, which is not actually that bad. That's not bad at all. I would like us to... I mean, we've had a really, really good start. <coughs> the fact that we've managed to avoid defeat in those opening five games when we played Chelsea... Uh, um. Liverpool and Manchester United away from home. The fact that we're still here on zero games lost is awesome. Is awesome. And you see me play them as well. So, you know, uh, you know, I wouldn't fluff that. No chance. You know, it's all good. But yeah, what a cracking start we've had. What a cracking start we've had. And uh, yeah, we play Wolves, which you won't see. And then we'll play Antwerp, which you will see. So I'll see you for that. Alrighty then, we have the game here against Antwerp. We did beat Wolves earlier on, and uh, it was 2-1. We scored a last-minute winner through Charleston, which is awesome. So it's uh, good to know that he still can pop up with a goal or two. Now and again. Now and again. Now and again is what I meant to say. So for this game against Antwerp and our debut in the Champions League, we are going with a ruddering goal. About for a Ferrero, Sole, Kumas, and Krub. Or Cross. I was still here, of course, which is awesome. A scamp at Gallagher and Nakamura in midfield with Palmer and Bohinen supporting Vepner up front. Let's see what we can do here. Um, we've got nine players on the bench, which, you know what, that's absolutely fine. Uh, it would be ten, but Harwood Bellis is injured and we can't field a place. So let's see what we can do. You know, I'm hoping we can win this game. I think it's a game we should be able to win. Um, especially with the way our form has been going. So, um, let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Let's see. I just, at this point in time, I just don't know if we've got the squad to participate in all competitions. Ideally, I probably need another five, six, seven players to compete on all fronts. But, I guess we'll see. Of what happens really? Right, Vep now. Oh, does really well to lose his man there. He's got a few, another one to beat. Okay, so we've got a free kick. He surely won't be sent off for that. Okay, that's odd because why would it bring it up as a highlight there? Oh well. Now remember, there are six teams from the Premier League in this competition this year, and uh, obviously I think it works out that we can't play any of them anyway, which is even better because all. All the other five teams probably would stand a good chance of beating us. Ferrero makes the clearance, but it's still given away. It's a Villa now with a shot, and it's saved by Rudder. I thought that was um, either wide or it was going to go in. But um, you know, I'm satisfied they obviously didn't score. But, oh, Vetna can't quite tuck that home. <sighs> Dibuze? Dibuze, maybe? I'm not sure. Kumas, oh, that's an awful header. It's now Valencia for Antwerp. Gets it forward to Fadinga. And Fadinga. Oh, he's hit the bar. And Kumas manages to get it clear just about. And Bonian manages to beat the Antwerp player to that ball as well. Real Madrid are playing Man City. Ouch. For Man City. But we're half an hour in. I would probably say that Antwerp have been the better team here. So we're going to demand more. Because... You know, if we're if we're gonna finish in the top twenty four, then I think we need to win games like this. Certainly, top eight I think is a little bit out of reach. When I said, well, I mean, originally I did say that it we have a chance, but obviously, I um I cut that bit out because I was thinking, well, it doesn't really. I'm not really saying what we have a chance in. We have a chance of qualifying, or we have a chance of winning. We don't have a chance of winning the Champions League, of course, but. Finishing in the top 24, oh my god, I mean, doing passes like that is never going to help. Right, Cross now, on this right hand side, what can he do? Cross get, gets the ball to Bonian, to Nakamura, Nakamura across to Bonian, and he scores! That's Bonian's first goal for the club, lovely stuff, 
and uh, can sort of settle down a little bit now because, yeah, uh, out of the eight games we've got, I think this is the game that we really, really should win. Because we do have a few other games that I think are winnable, but this one, first one, and we're at home. Oh, they're straight in here. Oh, God, no, no. Oh, and they've equalised straight away. Oh, God, now I'm not, now I'm not happy. Let's berate them for that. Immediately conceded that equaliser. That's dreadful. Alright, we have another possible highlight here. Ferrero gets, tries to get it for Palmer. It's dispossessed. Scott. Oh, Gallagher's nicked the ball. And Gallagher! Oh, and his keeper parried it onto the post. But things have been much better so far in the second half. Shakhtar the next. Can we actually play in the next game? Are winning at Milan. Right, so late. Can't win that header, but Kumas can, and he scores. Come on. Arnu Kumas gets his first goal of the season, and we are retaking the lead against Antwerp. Get in. Right, Palmer. I mean, I was looking at that, to be fair. He really should be coming off. So, Martial. I mean, Bonian really could do with coming off as well, couldn't he? Uh, I haven't got I haven't got another shot. I mean I've got Richardson to be fair. So we can do that. Um let's bring Loftus Cheek on. Can you do another position there? Playmaker. I don't really want another playmaker. I mean to be fair, I could swap you to him as um I don't know what to do. Let's just put you on a central midfielder on attack. And then Loftus Cheek can play as a deep line playmaker. That's good. That will do, I think. And we'll bring Doig on for Ferreira as well. So I've got only one more change left to do. But I think the changes we have made, hopefully, um, will be okay. Uh, Vepnar needs to come off as well. Uh, we've got a corner. Again, why is this not set up? We had the decoy there. We might have scored from that. Oh, Vepnar needs to come off because he's injured. Damn it. That's all my subs made before the 70th minute. That could, that could backfire. Right, Gallagher tries to get it to Martial, but he can't. And it is uh, Antwerp on the ball now. Can we win this ball back? It's with Scott. Now Valencia. Oh, literally. Oh, my God. I'm surprised we didn't concede them. I just hope that's not an injury to Vepnar. Uh, cross. Nakamura back to cross. Soleil. What the hell is Soleil doing there? It's with Doig now. Oh. <laughs> Highlight ended there. Charlison can't win that header. Nakamura can. Gets it to Verstrecken. On this right-hand side, what can he do? Strecton goes back to cross. Cross. Cross of a Stecton. Oh, what the hell was that? We managed to win it back. Gallagher now. Tries to get out to Verstrecken. Oh, Crub. Loftus-Cheek. Gallagher. Oh. What an opportunity. What a shot. What an effort. Unfortunately, didn't go in. Right, Verstrecken now. Coming forward. Tries to put it over the top for Richarlison to chase. I was going to say, that looked like it could have been a penalty. And the referee is looking into it. Again, so far, I have not seen any one of these that have been overturned. Penalty's been awarded. And who is going to be taking it? It's going to be Cross. Cross to seal the deal. Yeah! Come on! Tom Cross scores his third goal of the season, and we are winning our very first Champions League game. Get in. Alright, a rudder. Doig. Ooh, I thought we might have taken a bit of a uh, too long a touch there. Doig puts it over the top, and Richarlison's in. Oh, I thought that was in. But we have played... I mean, it didn't start off too well. I'll, I'll, um, I'll level with you with that. But 
we played well in the end. Sole with the header. Oh, and Sole has been so good from those set pieces this season as well. 86 minutes on the clock. Another highlight. I'm assuming it's for us. Gallagher back to Doig now. Doig, obviously second choice now because of Ishmael Ferrero. Oh, and Doig goes close with that effort and goal. And Doig now with a throw. Is this for us? I think it is for us, actually. Doig. Doig puts it here. Oh, that was a weird cross there. But Loftus-Cheek with the ball. Loftus-Cheek goes for an effort. But Martial can't win that. Is back with Kumas now. Kumas tries to find Cross. And he does. Cross. There's a lovely ball to Verstepp and to Richarlison. I think Richarlison's offside there. I'm sure he's offside. Yeah, he is. Thought so. That's fine. That's fine. But guys, we were incredible in that game in the end. Oh, look at that. Milan got a late equaliser. Oh, that kind of sucks, doesn't it? Because Shakhtar will be really wanting to win their next game because they're facing us. That will be fun. Not. <laughs> so, there we go. We won against Antwerp. I'm really happy with that, of course. And I think we actually play Milan as well at some point. I think we're away. And I know we're away against Madrid as well. So those are two games where we are probably going to get smashed. Understandably. So we'll see. Just gone forward a little bit and completely forgot that I didn't do an outro to the video. So um, just uh, off the back of that Antwerp game, we got 2.41 million pounds because we won the game. Vepnar, thankfully, only out for a couple of days. And we set a new gate receipts record of 900,000 against Antwerp, which is quite nice, actually. Quite nice indeedy. So if we have a look ahead at the schedule when it decides to load, of course, hopefully... You know, things are going okay so far today, so hopefully it won't take too long. And it's... it's yeah, I mean, it's gone through quicker than expected, must admit. Coming through quicker than expected, I should say. And it's nearly there. Just a bit longer, just a bit longer, just a bit longer, just a bit longer. There we go. Right, so I think what we're going to do... We are going to come back and do Leicester and Feyenoord. We've got Crystal Palace. We've got Blackburn. Tottenham in the Premier League. Another tough away game. And uh, Shakhtar Donetsk, obviously, in the Champions League as well. We've got Everton in the league. And then we'll be back. So a few games to do off camera, which is uh, absolutely fine. And, yeah, we've got a tricky November. Those two away games in the Champions League could be difficult. I'm expecting them to be difficult, to be honest. So, yeah. It's all good. It's all good. We'll be fine. Top 24, absolutely acceptable. But, guys, what a cracking start to the season. Let's hope it continues. Thanks very much for watching this video. If you did go on to enjoy it, be sure to drop a like. Hit that subscribe button as well if you do happen to be new. And I will see you again very, very soon. Thanks again for watching. Ciao for now.